Okay, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? I'm fine. Nothing. <laughs> okay, that's nice. No, yes, you're learning English. Okay, great. How was the weekend? Very good. Very good. Nice. I like that. Did you enjoy? Did you rest? Huh? In house. No? No. You didn't have time to rest? That's not good. That's no good, teacher. Yes, because you have to remember that it's important to, to, to relax, to do something for different, right? Because I remember the stress is bad, right? Uh, the stress produce, uh, uh, brings, you know, heart attacks and other problems. Okay, so we always need to, to do uh, different activities, you know, to, to keep ourselves healthy, happy, and not to be too, too angry, okay? Or tired, right? To feel tired, that's very, very bad. Okay, oh, there you go. Okay, good. Uh, let me see what else we have. Good. It's very nice here, Jennifer. Okay, Jocelyn. Hello, Jocelyn. Then we have uh, Milagro. Hello, teacher. Vanya, Jenny, Jennifer. Rain. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. hello. Okay, who's oh, Oscar? Is hello, hello. Hello, Jenny. Oscar is missing. Okay. Now we're going to continue with our topics. We started the, the last one was with the simple present, short answers, conversation. We were talking about the vocabulary from the new apartment. Okay, remember that you have the backyard, the front yard. Okay, and then This is it. We're going to listen to and watch. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question, do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns I, you, we, and they, do, or don't. 
for the pronouns he, she, and it does or doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun they and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be posited by saying yes, they do. Or negative by saying no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes, he does, or negative by saying no, he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and co-workers. And make short answers as well. Whenever you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Now, in the now we're going to work in let me see two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Okay, so we have ten people. Okay, I'm going to make uh, let me see three groups, four groups. Okay, we're gonna make four groups, and then uh, you're going to go into the groups. You're going to work. In, in two or three, okay? And you are going to practice questions similar, uh, I sent to the WhatsApp, okay? In the WhatsApp, I send the uh, sample questions using, for example, do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Uh, do you live in a house? For example, you say, um, Jennifer. Hi, teacher. Hello. Do you live in a house? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Remember, yes, I do. Do you live in a house? Yes, I do. Okay. Jennifer, do you live in a house? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Now, does your house look now is, does your house, uso el das porque me voy a referir a la casa. Does your house have three bedrooms? No. No, it doesn't. No. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, no, it doesn't. Pero estamos hablando de la casa. Okay. Uh, does your house have two bedrooms? Yes. Yes, it does. Yes. Yes, it does. It does. Okay. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the video. Drones have windows. Okay. You see this one, for example. Do you, the question is, do you live in a house? Yes, I do. Does your house or does the house have, does the house have three bedrooms? No, it doesn't. Okay, does it have two bedrooms? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. A, Oscar, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Do you live in a house? 
Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, does your house have a garage? No, it, it doesn't. No, it doesn't, correct, good. Reina, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. Reina. Hello, teacher. Okay. Reina, do you live in an apartment? No. I don't. No, I don't. No, no, I don't. Perfect. Okay. Uh, do you live in a house? Yes. Yes. I uh, doesn't. Yes, I do. I do. Okay, I no problem. That's okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Do you live in a house? Yes, I do. Nice. Okay, very good. Now, does your house right now, or as you answer, yes, does your house have a a big garden or a big yard? No. Uh huh. No, it. No, it doesn't. Perfect. Okay, very good. No, it doesn't. Okay. So you see, okay. this is talking about do and does. Okay. Cuando nos referimos a una tercera persona, que en este caso es la casa, right? It doesn't. Or yes, it does. Uh, for example, we said, uh, uh, Oscar, does your house have a front yard? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, good. Uh, Jocelyn, do you have a car? No, I don't. No, I don't. Good. Uh, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, Jenny, do you have a car? No, I don't. No, I don't. Brandon, do you have a car? Oh, I don't. No, I don't. Good. Uh, Ivania, do you have a car? No, I don't. No, I don't. Lillian, do you have a car? No, I don't. Reina, do you have a car? No, I don't. Perfect. Milagro, do you have a car? Yes, he does. Yes, he I does. do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Perfect. Yes, I do. Good. And Milagro, does your car have a polarized? No. Does your house, does your car have uh, a stereo? Yes, he does. Yes, it does. Very good. Nice. Uh, Jennifer, do you have a car? No, I don't. No, I don't. Teacher. Uh, yes, Jocelyn. Do you have a car? Yes, I do. I have four cars. Regale uno, entonces, una cada. Ya le voy a enseñar mi colección que tengo ahí enfrente. De los que vendían en la uno, sí, chiquitito. Very nice. Oh, yes, I do. I have one. Okay. Hey. The Hot Wheels. Ajá. No, pero no, no. De los Hot Wheels. Yeah. <laughs> Esos eran mis, mis, ese era mi, ¿cómo que se llama? Mi hobby de chiquitín. I have it said the Hot Wheel Cars. Okay, yes, that's good. Okay, do you have a car? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. Now, remember, then when we talk about the object, about the house, about the car, or a person, then we use it does. Now, for example, uh, let me see, Brandon. Do you have a brother? Yes, I do. Okay. That, please say that. Does your brother have children? No, he doesn't. Perfect. No, he doesn't. Ahora ya no usamos it porque ya no es objeto, es una persona. He. Okay, good. Uh, Jenny, 
Do you have a sister? Yes, I do. Okay. Does your sister uh, does your sister live in a house? Yes, she yes, she doesn't. Yes. She does. Yes, she does. Okay. Yes, she does. Perfect. Okay, remember, yes, she does, affirmative. No, she doesn't, negative. Yes, he does, affirmative. No, he doesn't, negative. Uh, yes, it does, affirmative. No, it doesn't, is negative. Okay? Good. Uh, let's see another question. Uh, Ivania, do you have a dog? No. No? No, I? I don't. No, I don't. Correct. Good. Okay. Listen, uh, si ustedes usan solo no o solo yes en una conversación normal del, ya en la vida real, no problem. Okay. Pero siempre es bueno hacer, usar yes, I do, no, I don't. Okay. And then, y ahí se acostumbran a pensar en inglés too, right? Yes, I do, no, I don't. Yes, he does, no, he doesn't. Porque hay muchísimos auxiliares, ¿ok? Ya vamos a ver, más adelante van a ver el pasado. Es el yes, I did, no, I didn't. Que sea, sea si lo hice, no lo hice. All right. Ok. Eh, ahora, vamos a hacer los grupos y van a hacer ese tipo de preguntas de lo que a ustedes se les ocurra. Podemos usar, do you drive? Do you speak English? Do you speak German? For, for example, you can say, uh, let me see, uh, Milagro. Teacher. Do you have a brother? No, I don't. Okay. Do you have a sister? Um, yes, he does. Yes. I... yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Does your sister speak Chinese? Um, no, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't, correct? Right? Does your sister speak Chinese? Yeah. Habla chino su, su hermana? No, she doesn't. Okay? Got it? Okay. Eso vamos a hacer en los grupos. Practiquen preguntas. Primero, pregúntense, ¿tiene usted esto? Okay? Y luego, ¿tiene usted un hermano, una hermana, o un perrito, un gato, un carro, lo que sea? Okay? Y luego, que si eso que han preguntado, Hace otra cosa. Por ejemplo, uh, does your sister speak English? Does your sister speak uh, Chinese? Ok. Yo lo voy a llegar a visitar ahí. Y si tienen preguntas, me avisan. Ok. Now let's see. We're going to have two. Five. Now we're going to make it four. Here we go. Vamos a practicar. Yes, okay, here we go. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. 
milagro. Um, you have drink to drink. Excuse me. Repeat, please. Tú tienes sueño. Are you, ah, ok. Sí, ¿verdad, teacher? Are you sleepy? Esa cambia. Oh, no. Are you ah, sleepy? Cambia. Ajá, porque sería como, estás soñoliento, algo así. Are you ah. sleepy? Uh -huh. ¿Qué tiene que ver? Do you have a, algo material? Do you have... A, oh, ok. Por ejemplo, do you have a... Let me see. Do you have a... A motorcycle? Do you have a bicycle? Okay. Do you have a, a cousin? Do you have children? Okay. Do you have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have children? Yes, he does. Yes, I. Yes, I do. Teacher, siempre se me olvida. Yes, I do. Um, Jennifer, I have um, TV. Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Milagro, mm -hmm. do, do you have sofas? Yes, I do. Teacher, do you have an apartment? No, I don't. I in live... house? Yes, I do. Teacher, I have dog. Repeat, please, Milagro. I have dog. Do you? Do you have a dog? Do you have a dog? No, I don't. No. No he podido conseguir un Golden Retriever. Cuando consigo un Golden Retriever voy a tener dos. Okay. okay. Continue with the questions. Sigan practicando, ¿ok? Ya regreso. Ok. All right. Ok. Do you have a? A dog. A dog. No. Not a. Or do you have a pet? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yes, I do. Is cat. Do you have a. Name? What? What is your name? Mm, Mitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Así le decimos Micho. Micho. <risa> vale, pregunta. Micho, Micho. Es Micho. <risa> Micho. <risa> Do you have a pet? No. No. No, I don't. Don't. No. Ah, pensé que tenía mascotas, pensé que tenía perritos. No. Teacher said, yeah, I was a, I was have a, a parrot. A I, so can you repeat? I was have a parrot. I had. No, I was. Do it. I had. I had. I had. I had. It's past tense of have. Uh huh. Ah, okay, okay. I had a? A parrot. A parrot. Uh -huh. Tenía una lora. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, I had. Was, I es had. El, el, estuve de estar, o qué era el otro sería? Estaba. Okay, pero el pasado del B. Uh -huh. uh, tenía una lora. Ajá, uh -huh. I had. I had a parrot. Okay. Jocelyn. Do you have a, a instrument, musical instrument? 
No, I do. No, no I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Are you? Yes. I guitar. Do. I have a guitar, a guitar bass. Okay. Continue keyboard. practicing. Be right back. Chill. Um, no sé cómo sería la pregunta, pero le vamos a preguntar al teacher. Ok. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Cómo sería si le gusta tu, el piano? Do you like, do you like the piano? Uh -huh. ah. Do you like the piano? Yes, okay. I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Eh, este, vamos a ver. Um, do, do you uh, do you like is is party? Do you like it party? No. Do you like the parties? Uh huh. The party. No, I don't. Okay. No, I don't. It's okay. Jenny. Um, yes, teacher. Are you married? Repeat, please. Are you married? No. I am. No, I am. Uh -huh, no, I'm not correct. Good. Okay, um, and you, Lillian? Uh, repito. Are you no. married? No sé qué significa, profe. What is it, Jenny? What is it, Jenny? <laughs> Mary es como el casado, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, no, I sí. am. No? Oh, yes. I am. Yes, I am. No, I am. No, I am not. Okay, no, I am not. Okay, good. Okay, then, <laughs> uh, do you have a brother? Lillian? No. Okay, yeah. oh, Jenny, Jenny, do you have a brother? No, I don't, teacher. But you have a sister, right? Yes, okay. yes, she does. Does your sister like parties? No, she does. No, she does. Ok. Así pueden practicar también la tercera persona. Ok. Pero yo les preguntaba si estaban casadas para preguntarles acerca de su esposo o algo. Entonces, pero no ustedes se pueden preguntar ahí de sus novios o amigos. Ok. That's your brother, uh, boyfriend. Ok. That's your friend. Ok. Good. Continue. Okay. Practice. Ok. Continue. Ok. All right. Ok. No llevo todo. Entonces todavía vamos aprendiendo ahí, pero sí conozco más vocabulario. Okay. Todo siento que me ayuda en la clase. Sí. Okay. Hi, How are you doing the practice? Good, teacher. Yeah. Yes, no problem. Teacher. Okay. Sí. Enough yes. sufficient practice. Uh, un poco, Repeat. teacher, con las. Okay. Uh -huh. Do and does. Okay, for uh -huh. example, um, suppose I ask uh, Ivania, do you like, do you like candies? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, uh, Brandon, do you like uh, fruit? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, do you like uh, potatoes, Brandon? Yes, I do. Okay, Ivania, do you like parties? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Brandon, do you like dancing? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, um, let's say, uh, Ivania, do you like your job? Do you like your work? No, I don't. No, I don't, okay. Brandon, do you like um, uh, do you like do you like tennis to play tennis? Repeat. 
Do you like uh, to play tennis? Do you like to play tennis? Ah, ah okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. I am... Okay. 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 And do you like do you like um, pets, Brandon? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Así pueden hacer pregunta. Do you like? Do you play? Do you study? Okay. Uh, you can say Ivania. Does your I don't know. Does your husband play football? Yes, I do. Yes, that's your husband play football. Yes. He, uh, he does. does. Okay. Yes, he does. Okay. Juega football su esposo? Yes, he does. Okay. Or no, he doesn't. Yes? Okay. Okay, good. Then you can ask questions like that. Uh, Brandon, does your brother does your brother play football? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Does he play better than you? Uh, repeat. Does he play better than you? Eso sí me la Que si juega mejor, does he play better than you? Ah. Uh, no, he doesn't. Ah. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, juega mejor que usted. Dice, does he play better? Better is mejor. He doesn't. Than you que usted. Okay. Okay. Say better. Esa, esa palabra significa. Better. Mejor. What does that mean? Uh -huh. Better. Mejor. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Um, bueno, vamos a regresar a la sesión. Entonces, let's go. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we are. We're back. Okay, here we go. Then uh, we have this is remember these are the questions for yes no questions with do and does. Okay, for the third person. Okay, so then we're going to move to the next one, which is this one. For example, this one. What is the complete questions? Yes, to double check all these answers here. Okay, Reina, what is the number one? For example, do you live? Does you live? Do you live? Or does you live? Do like. Do you like this one? This? Yes. Yes. Okay. Brandon, the number two or the second, the next one. Chris. Remember that is a sequence, right? No, I don't. Sería in the first. No, I, this one? I don't like. Okay, I don't. Uh, no, Maria, no, I don't like, perdón. This one? Yes? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, Jennifer, number three, this one. 
Um, does have, have. Does it have? This one. Mm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, then we have Reina. So who is Ivania? Ivania. What about the next one, Ivania? Yes. It. Number one. Yes. Number one. Yes, it does. Correct. Lillian. Yes. Do that do sounds like, nice. Uh -huh. eh, do you? La yes, do you live? The first one. Y cuando ven así, así me pueden decir, por ejemplo, para que practiquen the first one, la primera, the second one, la segunda, the third one, la tercera, y the fourth one. First, second, third, and fourth. Ok, y cuando uno dice, por ejemplo, the first one, como así decir, the first one, como la primera uno, is la primera, the second one. Okay. Next one, a eh, Milagro. Don't like. Eh, I don't, this one? Yes. No, I don't. I live with my family, correct? Uh, Jenny? Veamos. The second. Uh, that sounds nice. That's you? No. No. It's do how? Do, do how? The second okay, two, do three. Do how? Three, the third one. Do you have? The third. Okay, the third one. Oscar? Uh, Chris, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I have four sisters. Perfect. And Jocelyn? Um, does your house? Uh -huh. Does your house have. Have. have many rooms? Okay, good. Just next one, Reina. Do have. Yes, it. Do have. Yes, it. Do have. Yes, it. Do have. Yes, it. Yes, Yes, it. Yes, it. Yes, it. Yes, it, 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 it. Do yes, have. it does. It Do have. has. It has four. Uh -huh. Yes, it does. It has four. Okay, Lillian, the next one. Linda. Um, do like, do have, do you, do have, do have, correct, do and have, Milagro, do, yes, I do, do. Qué difícil. Uh -huh. very difficult decision, okay, we have all the answers, yes, complete. Then we have, voila, okay, yes, I do. There you have, 
Okay, just remember the, the use, right? Do you live? No, I don't. I live in a house. No S, no doesn't. Uh, does it have a yard? Yes, it does. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? And uh, no, I don't. I live with my family and so on, right? So those are the correct answers. Okay, preguntas hasta el momento, vocabulario. Alguna duda, comentario. Cerca del do, el das. Teacher, ¿qué significa? Uh -huh. En la... Uh, alone. Donde... Dice alone. Ah, ahí, donde dice Linda. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? ¿Cómo pues, se... Ah, esta, that sounds Ajá. nice. Ajá, ¿cómo se traduciría eso? Es como, suena bien. That sounds nice. Me suena bien, parece bien. Por ejemplo, que... vamos, hagamos, digamos, hagamos una fiesta, un almuerzo, almorcemos el viernes, por ejemplo. Okay. Oh, yeah, good, that sounds nice. A mí me suena bien, me parece bien. Okay, that sounds nice. Ah, es uh -huh. que no le hallaba como... Uh, okay, thank uh -huh. you. Okay, you're welcome. Say that sounds nice. What else? Only? Okay. Well, if you have questions, me, me preguntan. Okay, no problem. Uh, let's see this one. The next one is, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary, furniture, and other household items. ¿Qué es esto? Muebles y artículos para el hogar, right? Household items. Artículos del hogar. Good. Now let's watch the video. Okay. Here you have, for example, in the picture, there are some images about armchairs, stuff, curtains, okay, pictures, clock. These are items that you can have in the house, but you also have furniture, okay, el mobiliario, okay, like armchairs, table, coffee table, dresser, bookcase, chairs. Um, desk, bed, right, uh, refrigerator, sofa. And then you have some items like the TV, the mirror, microwave, pictures, the clock, the lamps. Okay, son como ya artículos del hogar, right? The, uh, the, the rug, okay, the alfombra and everything. Now listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Let's get started by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs, stove, curtains, pictures, clock, bed, table, coffee table, microwave oven, Refrigerator, lamps, sofa, desk, bookcase, dresser, chairs, mirror, rug, television. Other vocabulary that is important to understand is kitchen, dining room, living room, bedroom and now let's practice using the vocabulary that we just heard by making statements about your kitchen dining room living room and bathroom for example my living room has a sofa a rug and a television my dining room has 
After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, this is how you can uh, describe some of the objects, for example, that we have in the kitchen. What are some things that we have in the kitchen? Mm -hmm. um, you have this table. Uh -huh. table. Microwave. Okay. Refrigerate. Microwave. Microwave. Well, you can say fridge. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Fridge or refrigerator, no problem. What else? Fridge, se puede decir, teacher. Yes, correct. Okay. Fridge. Fridge. Mm -hmm. Eso es nuevo para mí. Okay. Stove. Which one? Mm, cook. The stove. Oh. The stove is like la cocina. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, freezer. Freezer. Yes, y freezer. Freezer. ¿Qué quiere decir? Oh. Uh -huh. Freezer es el congelador. Okay. Eh, el refrigerador y congelador. Uh -huh. ¿Y cuál? Bueno, en la mayoría traen doble, va. Traen su freezer y su congelador, con, eh, helador. Y hay freezer que vienen separados. Che, un okay. Un mixer, un mix, creo que sí se pronuncia, ticha. Ah, mixer, la mezcladora, uh -huh. la, batido, la batidora. Uh -huh. yes. yes. La licuadora. Yes. No, la licuadora es otra, blender. Blender, blender es la licuadora. Uh -huh. El mixer Hello. es el que ocupan para, para mezclar, la, para, ¿cómo que se llama? La, la preparación del, de los pancakes. Eh, para hacer pasteles. O Como todo. para batir aren, ajá, harina. Como batidora. Ajá. Yes. Y el blender es una licuadora. Mm. Ok. You have also. Diche. Diche, mm -hmm. teacher. Yes. Las cacerolas, ¿cómo me dice, teacher? Perdón. Las cacerolas. Ah, oh, yeah. pan, pans, or, esa no, la, esa no se las quería enseñar, porque, no es que pen, ¿Por no, para un cacerolazo, <risa> son, oh my God. Son, son armas de fuego, <risa> a pan or frying pan, ahí están las eh, cacerolas, <risa> sí, ya lo voy a enseñar en cicatriz. <risa> no, pan o frame. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah, eso que... Uh, pan. Juan, ¿qué dices? ¿Ah? Juan. Eh, Juan. Pan, pan o frame pan. O sea, es una cacerola o una... Una cacerola para freír, que es lo mismo. Dice. Yes. Cuánta violencia, teacher. <risa> <risa> yes. <risa> Too much. Eh, no. Demasiado. Ajá. Podría ser un oven es como hornear, ¿verdad? Oven es el horno. ¿Qué es eso? No, oven es el horno. Patemos, por ejemplo, ah. uh, el pot. Ok. Pot son cacerolas, eh, ollas. Ya ve que estoy traumado con las cacerolas. Pot son las ollas. Sí, de verdad. <ríe> <risa> Como vos, Andarna. Se oven es el horno. Okay, diferente diferente mm. al microondas, ¿ok? Que es un horno microondas, que es el microwave. Uh -huh. Y este es el oven que viene con la cocina, digamos, con la stove. Y está la palabra uh -huh. bake. Esto es hornear, el verbo. Le voy a poner verbo. ¿Cómo eh, se escribe eso, teacher? Ahí está, ¿lo, ¿lo ven en la pantalla? Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. 
Uh -huh. Bake. For example, I say, do you like to bake? ¿Le gusta hornear? Yes, I do. Bake. Uh -huh. Ahí le yes, I do. Ajá, yes, I do. Ahí se lo he puesto como verbo para que no lo vayan a tomar como un, como un artículo. O un... Ajá, exacto. Está oven, es el horno. Este sí es el artículo, el objeto. Y el bake es la acción. Ok, ¿qué más? Eh, tenemos ahí blender, refrigerator. Eh, tenemos este, ah, los eh, cupboards. Los cupboards que son las... Eh, eh, ¿Cómo que llaman? Las repisas donde se guardan las cosas, ¿no? Los, los plates. Lo, lo voy a poner en general. Dishes. Están todos mm. los trastes. Dishes. Y ahí están los Dishes. plates. Eh, cups. Eh, glass. Eh, ¿Qué más tenemos? Um, spoons. Over. Eh, spoons, ¿qué más? Eh, knife. Cover. Knife. ¿Cuál es que dice tenedor? Ah, the forks. Ah, uh -huh, forks. Ahí está. Forks. En, lo, en, en los temas en los cupboards están las eh, la repisa, pero están dishes, los trastes en general, los platos, tazas, vaso. Cuchara, cuchillo, tenedor. Ok. How do you yes. say se servilleta, teacher? In English. Napkin. Napkin. Mm, ok. Ok. ¿Qué más? Mm. Excuse me? Etc. 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 Uh -huh, etc. Right? Etc. Hey. This, is, this is in the kitchen, okay? This is in the kitchen. Falta. ¿Qué que se llama? In the kitchen. Gas. Okay, in the kitchen. Okay, then uh, podemos poner, por ejemplo, in the in the bedroom. In the bedroom, tenemos un bed, dresser. Closet. In a picture. In a picture. Picture. In the club. Mm. Eh, tenemos um, pictures. Lamps. Hay lámpara, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes. Eh, eh, night tables. Mirror. Table. Una cita de noche. Night mirror. tables. The mirror. The mirror. 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 Window. The window. Ah, and the curtains. Cort curtains. Windows curtains. and for the curtains. curtains. Okay. Windows and curtains and door. And Door, puerta. Ah, the door, yes. Uh -huh, door. door. Okay. Uh, Etc. Right? You see all this vocabulary? Esto es lo que hace que nosotros seamos más fluidos en el idioma, right? El vocabulario, cuando uno puede hablar de, de escribir su... Oh, mire, in my bed, I have a bed. Y ahí vienen los adjetivos. I tengo una cama pequeña. I have a small bed. Or a medium bed a large bed, they can have a small, medium, and large, a dresser, a tocador, ¿verdad? así se le llama, a tocador, donde están todos los cosméticos y todas las cosas, el mirror, um, what yes. else? el closet, for the clothes, y si hay, hay casas, 
que tienen un walk, walking closet, ¿verdad? Que son súper inmensos, ¿verdad? así como el que tiene Iván en su casa, que entra al closet, ¿no? ahí están los zapatos, como 100 mil pares de zapatos. Right? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Dice que ya voy a hacer una encuesta, ya me acordé. Okay. ¿Cuántos pares de zapatos hay en sus casas? Infinity. Yes, I know, I know. Mire, hacia nosotros nos gusta el fútbol y otras cosas. Las señoras, señoritas y todas las damas les gustan los zapatos. Qué maravilla. Right? Ok. Y solo una vez los pongo. No. No, it depends. It depends. Okay, good. Now, this is the vocabulary, right? For a bed, dresser, walking closet, pictures, lamps, night tables, mirror, windows, and curtains, doors, etc. Okay. No questions? Teacher, ¿y cómo, cómo se diría una almohada? Ah, the pillow. Okay. Mm, es que estoy viendo no, la mía, no. por eso. <laughs> ya es el llamado de la almohada. Ok. Sí, sí. The pillow. Pillow. Ahí tenemos las eh, sheets. Sheets son las sábanas. Ok. Pillow, sheets. What else we have? Ah, a veces hay una silla, obviamente, para el, para el dresser, chair. Um, yes. Basically that, ¿ok? Ok. Es básicamente lo que hay. Pillow, sheets, and chair. Ok. Then you have, for example, the dining room. In the dining room, you have table, you have chairs. Uh, for example, you have a TV, uh, maybe um, in the living room you have the armchairs. Vean que los armchairs son los sofás, right? Y el sofá, los uh, sillones, we call them sillones. And the sofá is the large one. Good book. Okay. Good. Teacher, ¿y si, yes. ¿y si hay una chimenea en la sala? ¿Cómo mm -hmm. se diría? That's the chimney. Ok, chimney. Ok. That's the chimney. Mm -hmm. Ok. O hay otros que le llaman, bueno, eso es la, lo que sale, right? Pero lo que está por dentro se le llama también fireplace. Teacher, do you have? Mm -hmm. Do you have a chimney? No. No, in my house, no. It's to, I mean, it's here in El Salvador, tal vez hay una paneca en algunas cabañas de ahí deben de tener chimney, right? O quiero ver uh, en algunas casas que no tienen hornos grandes, maybe, in those houses. But the majority, mm -hmm. no. Sí. Not in El Salvador, right? Sí, sí. It's caliente acá. Chimneys are more for mm -hmm. cold places. Okay, what else? We have my I... room. Uh -huh. Yes, Jenny? No, sir. Es que solo iba a comentar que hay unas que ya son, son chimeneas, pero como que es la pantalla, pero ya vienen como programadas. Ah, uh -huh. ajá. Ese, ese es el fireplace, el que le pone, uh -huh. Usted lo pone dentro de su casa y se ve como una chimenea, mm. pero es un fuego artificial ajá, eh, sí. ajá, eh, virtual. Yes. Entonces, a eso que va por dentro se le llama fireplace. Y a lo que sale del mm. techo, esa es la chimenea. Ok, chimney. Mm, ya. Yeah. Yep, ok. okay. Ese es el tubito ese. Ok, so that's the fire. Lo que usted dice que vale es el fireplace. Ajá, ahí hay unos que sí son realmente... Very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. What else? Anything else? 
Okay, so we have this one, this. After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so that's the vocabulary. And then we're gonna use this one, there is and there are. Case there is and case there are. Anybody? There mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. There is como singular. Mm -hmm. And there are plural. Yes, the plural. And for what? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo dirían ustedes? Sí. Hay, hay un hombre allá afuera. Oh. There is a woman. Hombre. There is a man. Ah, there is a man. Ah, there, is, there is a man outside. Hay un hombre allá afuera. Okay? There is a man outside. Hay una mujer allá afuera. There is a woman outside. Okay. Entonces, oh, there is, nice. ajá, es un hay de haber de existir en singular y de dar es el mismo haber existir pero para cosas en plural, cosas o personas. Por ejemplo, uh, si vemos acá, okay, there are, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight women in this class. Hay ocho mujeres en esta clase, right? And there are three, three men. There are not mm -hmm. three okay. men. There are three men, okay? There are two students, okay? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten students. There are ten students and there is one teacher singular. There is one teacher. There are 10 students. Okay. Así que con eso, con eso vamos a practicar mañana con lo que hay en la sala. Vean lo que tienen en la sala. There is a TV. Hay un televisor. O pueden decir, por ejemplo, there are two TVs in my house. Hay dos televisores en mi casa. There are two TVs. There is a dog in my house. Hay un perro en mi casa. There is a cat, there are two cats, okay? We're going to practice with the objects and things in your house, and there is and there are. Okay, people, have a good night. Okay, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. See you. Bye. Good morning. Tomorrow, see you tomorrow. Good night.